Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Loot Today, your daily farming guide for Wednesday, December 30th. In this series, we cover a lot. We got the Target Loot map, Dark Zone exclusives to farm for, highlights from the weekly vendor resets, and Cassie, which just reset today, and of course, build and farming suggestions as well. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy this video, consider pressing the thumbs up and subscribe buttons below, and remember to comment below as well if you have any questions whatsoever. Otherwise, let's get this video started. Alright agents, so starting off with the Dark Zones and of course Vendor Reset Highlights, always in that big bottom left overlay that pops up right now, I highly recommend spending 152 DZ resources in the DZ South for the Gift Backpack, which comes with 11.7% weapon damage, 9.8% crit hit damage, and 6.8% skill damage, that one I'd reroll the crit hit chance or weapon handling. And then of course in the DZ West, you got the Rock and Roll Shotgun and an 11% protection from Elite Mod Bolt. I highly recommend picking up for sure. And then of course over in the Cassie Vendor, there, you know, I'll, this is what it is. I'll show you right now, but there's really nothing I recommend. So let's move on now to the Dark Zones. All right, starting off with the DZ West, there's skill attachments, so definitely nothing worth farming for there. But we do have pistol target loot in DZ South. So there is a Dark Zone pistol, the Orbit with perfect finisher that I would definitely farm for today for sure. That is a must have for DPS builds. And then last but not least, we got Walker Harrison Co. at DZ East. This is where you could farm for the Matador with perfect adrenaline rush backpack. You want that bad boy rolled with weapon damage, crit hit chance and crit hit damage or weapon handling if you have enough crit hit chance on your build. So definitely go into DZ East and DZ South today. Those are my recommendations for the dark zones. Now let's go check out what we got on the north side. All right, Agents Northside Target Loot Highlights and Invaded Missions. So we got over here Federal Emergency Bunker, DCD Headquarters, Potomac Event Center, and then Roosevelt Island and Tidal Basin Stronghold this week. Moving on to normal Target Loot in the north side, we got Assault Rifles at Camp White Oak, two exotic Assault Rifles outside of the Eagle Bear, that's the Chameleon with Adaptive Instincts, and the Capacitor with Capacitance. Both of those I highly recommend picking up. And the Capacitor, you first have to complete five Summit Challenges before it joins the general target of Loot Pool. For named Assault Rifles, I'd recommend the new Test Subject with Perfectly In Sync, the Mechanical Animal of Future Perfection, and the other two in the bottom left overlay. Petrov over here at Coney Island Ballpark, I would farm the Contractor's Gloves with 8% damage to armor. Definitely great on any LMG build or if you're stacking damage to armor. Grupo Sumbro, of course, one piece for DPS builds and two pieces for explosive skill damage builds like artillery turrets and striker mines, seeker mines. And then lastly, we got Empress over here at Manning National Zoo. Now, Empress is great. Remember, 10% skill efficiency is its third piece bonus, and that is amazing. So that's 10% skill damage, skill haste, skill duration, skill repair, skill health, 10% status effects, all that good stuff. So definitely get that. And I highly recommend my new skill damage build. I'll put in the top right card now. Three pieces of Empress, two pieces of Hana Yu, one piece of wife, or sorry, the waveform. And I run that with kinetic momentum and the force multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms, the capacitor, the harmony, and the card custom pistol within sync. Kenley College is open for another five days and the summit you pick your own target to lose. So let's go check out now what we got on the west side. All right, agents, west side target to lose highlights. Starting off with the gear sets, we got Hunter's Fury in West Potomac Park area. Now this is a great SMG and shotgun damage build. Always mix the Scorpio and the Dark Winter with it, in my personal opinion. I run four pieces of Hunter's Fury, the Death Grip gloves, and of course the Memento Backpack. That's a build video that'll go in the top right card now. Otherwise, an alternative Hunter's Fury build, I would just put a Sokolo chest with Intimidate or Obliterate on it instead of the Death Grips. That's just my two favorite Hunter's Fury builds. Next up, we got Negotiator's Dilemma, Tidal Basin. I will put that double LMG build in the top right card now. Four pieces of Negotiator's Dilemma, the Coyote's Mask, and Group of Sunbro Gloves for DPS and Crowd Control build. And then of course we got Close Protocol over here at Foggy Bottom. Now Close Protocol, my favorite fire damage build would be four pieces of Eclipse Protocol and then of course the Imperial Dynasty holster and one piece of Golan gear for that extra 10% status effects for sure. I would skip Hardwired and Tip of the Spear. I just don't recommend ever running them anymore. But for Aces and Eights in the West End area, I definitely recommend getting this because it's a great headshot damage gear set. What I would do is mix three pieces of aces and eights, two pieces of Aralda holding, one being a backpack with vigilance or composure, and the chain killer chest piece with perfect headhunter running the mantis as your primary or nemesis. Now for normal target to loot, we got gloves, which we were missing yesterday at Federal Emergency Bunker, and it's invaded. So if you're looking for the, those BTSU gloves, which grants overcharge for all your allies that are at skill tier six, 
then I would highly recommend farming this. And remember, you can go to mission settings right here and toggle mission mode, and it will toggle it on and off for invaded. Next up, we got Hana Yu at Bank HQ. You can farm that force multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms. Always worth it on any skill damage build. An extra 30% skill damage for sure. Bellstone Armory at the White House if you're looking for that everyday carrier with perfectly efficient. But remember that the Liquid Engineer with perfect bloodsucker is a Dark Zone exclusive. You will have to wait for that to be targeted loot in the Dark Zones. We got Providence Defense at Potomac Event Center. You can farm that sacrifice with perfect glass cannon, amplifying all damage you do by 30%, but all damage against you by 60%. And goes great on any skill damage build or DPS build. And anyone, you know, shield build users looking for Eligard, definitely farm Lincoln Memorial today. This is my favorite mission to farm ever in this game for sure. Otherwise, let's go check out now what we got on the east side. All right, agents over here on the east side, target Alu highlights, starting off with ongoing directive, a capital building stronghold, two bleed damage builds that I will give you right now. First up is Ridgeway's Pride, four pieces of ongoing directive, and the Anarchist Cookbook with Perfect Wicked. It used to be the Eclipse Protocol backpack, but that uh, bonus talent system aggravator no longer works as a standalone piece. The other one I'd recommend is four pieces of ongoing directive, the Badger Tough backpack with Creeping Death, and the Vile Mass. Those are my two best bleed damage builds for sure. And then of course we do have Rigor right here at Air and Space Museum, the successor to Hardwire in my opinion for instant cooldowns and then you know deployable skills and changing tar targets gives you a lot of the four piece bonus which is a lot of skill damage so I highly recommend this too. For normal target loot, we got SMGs in Southwest area and that's where No Hope Hotel is. You could check out my video, I'll put, you know if I have enough cards I'll put in the top right card now on how to XP farm that. Otherwise, you can get the Lady Death, the Chatterbox, and the Backfire. Those are the three exotic SMGs you can get in this game. Remember though that the Dark Winter and the Apartment are Dark Zone exclusives, but there are several ways to get them in the bottom left overlay. What I do recommend for a named SMG in the Light Zone though is the Safety Distance with Perfect Outsider and the Grudge with Perfect Vindictive. Both of those are actually worth farming for in the Light Zone. We also got light machine guns at Space Administration HQ, so the two exotics is Bullet King and Pestilence. Bullet King you never have to reload, and the Pestilence you can get the damage stick to over a million. For the named ones, they're in the bottom left overlay. I prefer the you know, Carnage with Perfect Sadist for that ongoing directed bleed build, and the new Reliable for sure. And then of course shotguns at Jefferson Plaza. You always want to get the Sweet Dreams and the Scorpio, the two exotic shotguns in this game. Definitely the Scorpio with Septic Shock. I run that on almost any build. It goes good on DPS, skill, and tank builds. All three types of builds and hybrids as well. Otherwise, the other best shotguns in this game is the Mop with 10% armor on kill, the Rock and Roll shotgun with Perfectly Extra, the Custom M870, and the Marine Super 90 with close and personal rolled on them as well. Next up, we got Mass over here at East Mall. Four control points to farm here. You know, you got two exotic masks, the Coyote's Mask and the Vile Mask. Both of those are definitely worth farming for. Coyote's for DPS and the Vile Mask for status effects and skill damage. Now, I didn't see Douglas and Harding yet. It could be in New York City, but if there is Douglas and Harding, I would farm for the Punch Drunk Mask with 20% headshot damage baked into it. Otherwise, you can farm Mass targeted loot as well. For exotic chess pieces, you got the Tardigrade and the Ridgeway's Pride. Except for the Ridgeway's Pride, you either have to have a teammate share it with you if they've already completed the project and crafted it, or you're going to have to complete the project and get it from Summit and complete it and whatnot before it joins a general targeted loot pool like any other quest exotic. Next up, we got Overlorded Federal Triangle. You can find those Fox's Prayer knee pads with 8% damage targets out of cover. I think every agent should have at least two pairs of these. One with crit hit chance rolled on it, one with crit hit damage rolled on it, or headshot damage, whatever you need. And then rifles target a loot at Jefferson Trade Center. Now, of course, you can get two exotic rifles, the Merciless and the Diamondback, but I don't really recommend either or. I do recommend the two named ones that it can drop in the light zone. That's the Surge with Perfect Spike and the Baker's Dozen with Perfect Lucky Shot. But remember though that the Harmony with Perfectly in Sync does not drop outside of the Dark Zone, but like the Dark Winter, there are several other ways of getting them, they're just not really reliable. And last but not least, we got backpacks at District Union Arena. The two exotic backpacks in this game is the Acosta's Go Bag, and of course my favorite exotic, the Memento. That's about it for the East Side though, let's go check out what we got in New York City before we end the video, agents. All right, agents. Now we're over here in New York City. Finally, last but not least. So starting off with gear sets, we got strikers, a stranded tanker. So of course, three pieces of striker is what I recommend for calming down a merciless or you know fast firing a LMG. Otherwise, I never recommend the four piece. Never ever in a million million years. Foundry bulwark over here at the tombs. Great tank build, but remember the chest and backpack are Iron Horse raid exclusive. So always keep that in mind when you're farming for that and future initiative as well, which you could farm at Pathway Park today. 
Now, in lieu of a chest and backpack piece for the future initiative, what I'd recommend is an Alp Summit chest piece with uh, Empathetic Resolve and Safeguard on the backpack. And then next up, we got knee pads at Financial District. So there's two exotic knee pads you can get in this game, the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads and Sawyer's knee pads, both of which I do recommend. Sawyer's, of course, for sitting still more often, like in a sniper build or skill build or even tank build. And Ninja Bike for DPS run and gun like SMG and our AR builds. Here's Douglas and Harding if you want to farm that punch drunk. And then for holsters at Wall Street, of course, three, the new waveform exotic, which you get from level 90 season. And then it joins holster targeted loot. And then, of course, the Dodge City holster and the Imperial Dynasty holster. Those are the three exotic holsters in this game you could farm for. And the holster that drops outside of the dark zone is the Forge, which gives you 50% shield health, a whole extra skill tier worth of shield health to your shield's health. Other than that, that's really all I recommend for New York City, unless you're looking for a piece of Sokolov or a Roll to Holding for a headshot damage build. Alright agents, well that was the target of loot for today. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed my content. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the join button below for exclusive perks and extra support. Otherwise, Shadow Gaming merchandise and all, you know, support links and useful info for you guys as well is going to be in every video description and pinned comment below. Otherwise, take care agents and be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Shadow Gaming signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care agents and have a happy new year.